What's up guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Another morning, another snowstorm. Man, it has just been relentless here in Michigan. Most of you guys know, uh, this is my first year plowing snow, and I swear to God, man, like it's been two or so times a week we're going out there plowing snow, tidying up snow. It's just fun. So anyway, uh, I'm actually uh, headed out right now to make my rounds. Then my girl and I were going to the uh, North American International Auto Show over here in Detroit, which is exciting. So hopefully uh, I capture some plow footage for you guys. Just uh, hang out with me for the day. Uh, hopefully this only takes us uh, three or four hours, you know what I mean, to make our rounds, all of our residentials. I did do my commercial yesterday, so that's good. Uh, but before we get this show on the road, gotta stop and get another drink. Of course, one thing that I always like is the fact that my Toro 721 snowblower, a lot of you guys ask which snowblower I use. So this right here is my Toro 721 uh, QZR. I love this guy. Uh, the problem I have though is that the control arm that spins it left right, I don't know what you guys call it, the uh, shoot uh, deflector control, it always freezes up, man. Anytime it's lower than 32 degrees, uh, it freezes, which obviously is convenient doing snow removal. Uh, so if you guys got any comments or ideas on how to stop that from freezing, please let me know. Do you guys carry like a bottle of water around in the truck or, or what? Um, pain in the butt. Eventually it breaks free and you're back in business, but it stops the shoe from being able to turn. So not good. But like I said, I just use a uh, old scarf that I got running around. I put this on after the snowstorm last night, and normally that does the trick, but you guys can see right here, jammed, can't do anything with it. So now my chute is stuck that way, uh, not good. So definitely leave me a comment down below. This is one that has made me mad for a long time. Horrible design. If I had to suggest the 721 QZR, it would be with the manual chute, even though the convenience of that is like second to none, unless I could figure out a way to have this from seizing up. So let me know what you guys do. It finally broke free. Gotta love when your customers want to move the cars. <laughs> Not bad. Somebody gave me a fifty dollar tip. I'll take that. I had a customer of mine that uh, me and him got into a little bit of a shouting match about what is two inches, and uh, it really went to guns. And I was about to cancel him. Honestly, this was about a week ago, and I just saw him. And uh, he's a cool dude. I've been working for him for like nine years, but uh, he used some choice language, and I was like, "Hey, that's that's not how you're going to be talking to me." And uh, I think he felt kind of bad just now, and also appreciative that uh, I'm coming out for the smaller snowstorms. But he gave me a fifty dollar tip, so that was really really cool. So. Um, um, anyway, you guys ever get customers like that that uh, don't understand what two inches or more like a trigger is? Around here in Michigan, if it's an inch, and then you know three days later it's another inch, and three days later it's another inch. Uh, if it stacks up like three or four inches, yeah, I'll come on out. But like the one inch stuff, man, some of these people think that there's like a zero tolerance program. But you know, one thing I was just thinking about and saying it out loud, I'm not sure if it'll make sense, but I think I'm going to raise my snow rates to like three, 350 a drive and do like a one inch or more trigger so we're on top of it more and then I already know to go out no matter what, but do it at a premium and that way we can offer more value, more service, make more money, take on less clients if I need to and offer better service. So I don't know, do you guys do like a one inch, one and a half inch trigger or zero tolerance uh, trigger if you guys call it? Uh, let me know, leave a comment down below. Still figuring out the snow game. Uh, man, getting baptized by fire, learning a bunch. Uh, it's always cool. I mean, right now with my friend Mike Bedell, we're talking probably about 45 minutes a day about snow and ice and all the drama that goes with it. So uh, love having fun learning the snow game, that's for sure.
different things about a mower, but they're lawn mowers, right? They're zero. A lot of you guys ask me how I catch up with all of your content. Well, when I'm plowing, man, I'm always got something going. It's either audiobooks or videos from other people. So I'm listening to what mower brand should you buy from Jimmy and Jake, Massey Landscape. Uh, these guys are awesome. If you guys haven't subscribed to their channel, make sure you guys do. Quick little selfish plug in there, shameless plug. These are good buddies of mine, and uh, they got a good YouTube channel going, man. So if you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you do. But uh, that's what I do, man. Uh, just plowing snow here, just going up and down the driveways, staying focus not getting distracted but uh you know listening to jimmy on his new video i just saw post on the uh, subscription feed so yeah pretty funny so anyway uh, about two-thirds done with the route gotta keep moving plugging along through so having fun here but um it's lonely without my girl in the truck man i wish i had somebody to talk to Hey guys, over and out. If you enjoyed this one, shoot this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. I'm doing videos like this all the time, vlogging about our life, our channel, more lawn care stuff, snow removal stuff. Man, I can't wait to get back to cutting grass and that fresh smell of uh, fresh cut grass in the spring. I, hopefully you guys can relate, man. All right, guys, over and out. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for blowing the channel up. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.